Welcome to the final video in this video series. Today, I introduce the best free AI voice changer. The best part is that this real-time voice generator is actually free. That's right. No 10,000 character limits. No 3-minute time limit. No limit on downloads per month. No max upload or download size. No cost for extra voices. No feature upsells. No watermarks. Absolutely nothing to buy ever. So, how good is this real-time AI voice changer? Let's just say, this is not even my real voice. <gasps> That's right, you've been listening to a voice model. My voice. Unlike these other so-called free options that are not actually free, these voices are really good. And there are an infinite amount of voice models to choose from. All you need to do is find one that you like and download them for free. If you are still not convinced that this is the absolute best free AI voice tool on the planet, then you should also know that Eleven Labs and all other paid tools are adding these and similar voice models to their paid packages. But I can see that you're smarter than that. Why would you want to pay for something that is legally being shared for free? But having a free voice changer that is actually good and doesn't sound like a garbled mess of garbage will require a little work on your behalf to get it all set up. Once you have it set up, you can use it as your microphone for voice recording in your screen capture software or hook it up to Discord, a video game, or even meeting software for live streaming and in-game chat. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the software, then configure it and find additional voice models to download. Now that you have had a little preview on this powerful voice changing tool, let's start setting it up. You will need to have Python and PyTorch installed on your machine. If you have been following my video series leading up to this moment, then you already have them installed. If you don't have them installed, then please watch those install videos from the links in the description and come back once finished. Great. Now that you have Python and PyTorch installed, the hard part is over. Next, we need to head over to GitHub to download the source code for the real-time voice changer. I'm going to leave the link in the description to get to this page. Once you get here, you want to scroll down, down to the box that contains the version downloads. And you just want to look for the latest version to download and install. Make sure you choose the correct OS. If you have a Mac, then you'll want to take this Hugging Face link. If you have Windows and an NVIDIA graphics card, then you'll want to take the second link, which is CPU CUDA. Or you can take the Direct ML, but I would recommend with going CPU CUDA. And just click this Hugging Face link to go to the download page. Left click. Now you need to look for the version number again. We were going to download version 1.5.3.17. If you hover over the hyperlink, the bottom left will show you the full URL. In this case, it looks correct because we can see that this is 1.5.3.17b. Make sure that you have enough space to download it. This is 3.27 gigabytes big, and then you're gonna have to extract it too. So before downloading this, I would make sure that you have at least eight gigabytes of free space on your hard drive. So you're gonna come over to the little download error and left click to download the file. All right, and as you can see, it's downloading. The next morning. My downloads have finished. I'm just gonna go to my download folder now. And then you want to right click on your download and click extract all and just take the default location and extract. And we will come back once this is done extracting. Two seconds later. The extraction process has finished. Next, I would recommend that you take this folder and left click on it and cut it. And we just wanna keep all of our files organized in a central location because we're gonna to need to download some more files. So I'm going to create a folder on my desktop and I'm going to name it AI voice and open it up and paste it in. Okay. So now we have the voice changer. And the last thing that we want to do is move the start file out of this folder so that we can find it easier and start the program. So scroll down and look for a file called start 
underscore http dot bat you're gonna left click on it and then right click and create shortcut then you want to click on that shortcut and right click and cut all right now go back one folder and just paste it down into your main ai voice folder before we start the program, we're going to create two additional folders. These are going to be to house files that we're going to need later on. Create one folder called models. This is going to be to store our voice models. And then create another folder and call this one cable. This is what we're going to use later to connect our voice changer to our applications like Discord or games like Valorant. Let's start our AI voice changer application for the first time. Double click on the start HTT.bat. Click more info and click run anyway. And this part takes a little bit longer when you're starting the program for the first time. But after this initial setup, the application will start right away. You want to allow this through the Windows Defender firewall. And then just click start. The real-time voice changer client comes with five preloaded voice models. To start, you just want to click on one of the voice models. Scroll down to the audio section and leave it on client for input. You want to make sure that you have your microphone selected. For output, leave it as none for now. I'm going to show you how to install the cable input later and then we'll use that as the output. And then for monitor, you want to keep that on your speakers or your headphones. For gain, leave it on one. Next is noise. I have seen that these have minimal effects, so I just leave suppression one and two checked. For FO debt, so far I have found that this is the best setting. For the sound threshold, the default is fine. Chunk is going to have the greatest impact on your speech generation latency. So the lower that you can get this number, the quicker the response is going to be and the quicker you're going to hear it back or the quicker that the other person is going to hear your voice in the new voice. Ideally, you want to set this to the lowest number possible where it doesn't affect the quality of your voice. I have been able to get this to about 64 or 48 and still have pretty good quality, but you may need to play around with this setting to get better quality if you're having issues. Just go for the max extra. This doesn't have any effect on the processing time, so just go for the largest number. And then for GPU, if you have a GPU, make sure it's selected. Otherwise, just take the CPU option. The server and server IO analyzer, we're gonna ignore for now. This is just a different mode to run the voice generator in. Next, we're going to come down to the Advanced Settings button and click it. Protocol, make sure it's on SIO. Crossfade, just go for the largest number, 4096. Start and End, you can leave those as they are. Truncate, you should change this to 300 if it's not already on it. Silence Front, On. Protect, doesn't really do anything, but you can turn it all the way up. RVC Quality. Low actually seems to work better than high. Skip pass through confirmation, no, and then close. Okay, now you have all the basic configuration done and you can go up to your model and start working on the settings here. The gain in out, these are just the default settings. The tune is actually kind of like pitch. So if you have a low voice and you're trying to make it higher, you can turn the pitch up. And if you have a high voice and you're trying to, say, do a male voice, you can turn the tune or the pitch down. The best starting point for tune is negative 12 or positive 12, and then work from there up or down. The index refers to another file that is uploaded with the model, but it, from what I've seen, it doesn't have much effect on the overall quality of the model. The voice target, these are settings that you can save. So if you find the tune that you like for a particular model, this will save the setting only for that model. And so each model, you'll be able to save different voice targets. Now we are ready to start the model. To do that, just hit the start button. 
and you're gonna wanna pay attention to the buffer. Sometimes it takes some time to warm up. So right now the buffer says 2390 milliseconds, which is exactly the chunk latency time. So it looks like it's all warmed up. You can begin speaking and you should be hearing it into whatever you set up as a monitor. If you want to pause and hear your actual voice, you can click the pass through button. And while this is in pass through, you're only gonna hear your voice coming through your headphones. So it's gonna bypass the model. But like I said before, these are not the greatest models. If you wanna download some good models like celebrities, singers, or anime characters, for the model resources, I'll link those in the description. You can find free models either on the web or Discord. If you choose to go on the web, you can easily find them by Google searching RVC models. And then there are many different sites to choose from. Let's just choose the top one as an example. RVCmodels.com has tutorial voices, singers, business people, Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, scientists, Albert Einstein, politicians, Donald Trump, Barack Obama, fictional characters. The epochs refers to how well the voice model has been trained. So the higher the number, the more accurate the voice model will be. And you can download the model from this link. You can also get RVC voice models from Discord. What you wanna do is just grab the link out of my description and then paste it into the URL bar. Once you're inside the Discord group, you can go to voice models and then you can filter by RVC version two. And then a lot of times there'll be audio samples so you can listen to it first before downloading it. I'm burning in the yellow light. If you like it, hit the dot zip download link. Once it finishes downloading, just go to your downloads folder and refresh. Lena Moonlight. Just copy or cut it. Go back to your AI folder and open up your models folder and you can paste it inside and then extract it. Then go back into your real-time voice changer client and hit the edit button. And then choose a blank spot to upload. Click the upload button. Voice changer type, RVC. There's no version two, so it's just RVC. And here's where the model goes. So you select the file and then copy this path. Paste it here, hit the go button. And for the model, you want the dot path file. So click on it and then click open. And then for the index, select file. And the other file is usually the index. If index file doesn't come with your downloaded package, don't worry, you don't actually need this, but it might improve the quality of the voice changed. So let's load it. Now just click upload. That will take a minute to upload. It's, it's actually usually very quick. And then close this. And now you can see that the new model is there. Just select it. And then you can press start on your voice changer. To connect the real-time voice changer to Discord or your favorite game, you will need to download and install a virtual audio connection driver. I suggest using VB Audio. The link will be in the description. You can choose from Windows or Apple. I'm running on a Windows 10 machine, so I'm gonna download the Windows version of the driver. Once it finishes downloading, you wanna go to your downloads folder and refresh if it's not showing correctly. Now copy the zipped up VB cable package and paste it into your voice AI cable folder. Right click on it and extract it. Inside of the package, you wanna look for the VB cable underscore setup x64 exe and double click on it. After you install the VB cable, come down to your taskbar and look for the little sound icon. You wanna right click on it, not left click, right click. Left click on sounds. And under the playback tab, 
you want to make sure that your speakers are still selected as the default device and your cable input says ready. On the recording tab, you want to make sure your microphone is still selected as default and your cable output, VB audio, is just set to ready. Once you have confirmed that, you can close these settings and go back into the real-time voice changer to set up the output. Back inside the real-time voice changer client, you want to scroll down to the audio section again, and then this time in the output dropdown, you want to select Cable Input VB Audio Virtual Cable. Now when your voice is processed, it will come through the input, which is your mic, and then it will go out instead of the speakers into a cable input, and you can still monitor the voice being processed. But if you're going to hook this up to Discord or a video game, you're going to want to disable the monitor so you don't hear yourself. So I'm going to choose none for monitor. Now we have to make the changes in Discord and our game so that the input mic is set to this cable input. To connect the voice changer to Discord, you need to adjust the microphone settings. So go into Discord and then go down to the cog wheel, which is user settings and left click on it. Now you want to find your microphone. So go to the app settings, voice and video. Now you want to go to your input device and select from the drop down. VB audio virtual cable should show up as an option now. And you want to select that. And then you can check your microphone by using the mic test. Let's check. This is a test of the voice changer this client. This is a test of the voice changer client. Now we're going to connect the audio to Valorant. So go to the cog wheel on the top right, and then you want to go to settings and go to audio, and then select cable output VB audio virtual cable. And it's recommended that you set your mic sensitivity threshold all the way down for the best clarity. And then you can test your mic by clicking on the loop back test on. Hello, hello, this is a test hello, of the hello, mic hello, on Valorant. The the mic mic on Valorant. Turn. And once you're happy with the setting, just and turn the loop back the setting, test, off. Turn the loop back test off. Sorry, there was an echo because I forgot to turn the monitor off on my voice changer client. So if you're using the voice changer client with software, you want to make sure you turn the monitor off. Otherwise, you're going to hear yourself or you're going to hear echoes. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in seeing what happens next, make sure to subscribe to the channel.